So we're gonna start by creating a new campaign. And the campaign objective is gonna be catalog sales. You're gonna choose the catalog that has been shared with you. Once that's done, you can now name your campaign. I'll be creating a campaign for Gyara Gyara, so I'll call it 1111 Maru. This is gonna be turned on by default. If it's not, toggle it on. And we're gonna leave everything as is. We're gonna move on to our ad sets. Now we'll be creating two ad sets. The first ad set is gonna be for getting prospective customers. So let's call it prospective ad set. And we're gonna choose the product set that has been provided to us in our catalog. For prospective ad set, we're gonna allocate 70% of our total budget. So if our budget is $500, $350 is going to be put into prospective ad set and the remaining 30% into retargeting ads. In our audience, we're going to choose prospective customers and we're going to leave our audience as broad as possible to allow. It is one of Facebook's better practices for collaborative ads because it allows Facebook to um, filter the audience for you. We're going to choose automatic placements and we're going to optimize our ads for conversion events and the event type is going to be every time a customer makes a purchase now we're going to move on to the ads uh, you can change the name of the ad i'm going to leave it as is you can connect your instagram account uh, the format that we're going to use for the ad is a collection the, what the collection does is that it generates a full mobile screen experience in which there is also a video that's automatically generated from your products. The template that we're going to choose is storefront and we'll set it up real quick. This is the label. Let's change that to shop now. And the destination is going to be the landing page of your Dara store. So for Maru, it is daraz.pk slash slot slash Maru. Let's confirm. Yes. And done. We're going to add a primary text and a headline. This is the store now for awesome deals. And the headline can be shop now. Now this is up to you. You can be creative with this. The URL parameter is going to be provided to you by your Daraz POC and I'm gonna paste it right here. Now what we're gonna do is go to our prospective ad set and one thing that we forgot to do was add, uh, make sure that our dates are correct. So let's just keep a two week campaign and now that that's done, we're gonna duplicate our ad set. Now this second ad set is for retargeting customers. So let's call it retargeting ad set. Uh, the budget for this is going to be the remaining 30%, which is $150. The audience that we're going to select for this ad set is going to be the retargeting audience. And now we'll, we'll have access to a bunch of filters. We're going to go ahead and choose the first one, which is viewed or added to cart, but not purchased. So the audience that has uh, done this on the Daraz website is going to be shown your ad. Don't worry about this reach right now, because this is going to increase as the prospective ad set runs. So the reach is going to increase. We're going to change that to the last 30 days. Uh, there's no hard and fast rule for this. It really depends on your product and everything else is going to remain the same and you're going you can now go ahead and publish your campaign 